engineer in the Windows development team. Uh, so please bear with me if this doesn't work along, you know, all smooth and everything. But I'm really excited to share with you uh, the work that we've been doing on Windows 8. Uh, I was there in September when we made the announcement and uh, uh, released to the world the developer preview build. Uh, we've had 3 million downloads of the developer preview uh, since September. Uh, and we made some progress since then. So I'm going to uh, quickly take you back to where we were in September, uh, show you some things you might have missed, um, and then we'll move on and show you some of the some of the latest and greatest things. So what I have here is the machine that we gave out uh, in September, which is a Core i7 uh, touch-enabled slate. And again, we had the developer preview build on it. And uh, the first thing you're going to see is, is a touch kind of interaction with it. So I'm going to walk up to the machine, and I'm simply going to just swipe up from the bottom. Now, I've configured this machine, kind of customized it uh, for myself a little bit. Actually, Alice did, but bear with me on that. Um, and I've uh, chosen this picture uh, for my login. And I'm actually going to use a series of gestures that I predefined uh, to authenticate myself uh, to log into this machine. So I'm going to touch the eyes and then swipe across the mouth. And those three gestures are what I define uh, how I can authorize myself to log into the system. And one thing you'll note, uh, there's no desktop that I land on by default now when I log into the machine. Because you logged in because you wanted to do something or you wanted to see something. So we come to the start bar. And this new start menu uh, has all of my apps readily available on it. But these apps aren't simply just icons. These things are alive with information. So they're giving me information about my, uh, my latest social feeds, uh, my appointments that I've got up and coming, uh, stock and weather and information that I'm interested in. And if I want more information about these things, I can drill into the app. Um, but I want to show you a little bit of some of the performance that we have in Windows 8 as well. So you'll notice as I touch the screen, there's a little gray dot that shows up. This is so you can see where I'm touching on this machine here. Um, so I'm going to just pan, and you'll see that this just sticks to my finger. So as I move left and right, the screen just pans nicely along with it. And I have a number of apps pre-installed on this machine. And these apps give me a lot of information just simply by looking at the tiles. Um, but uh, developers have made great progress. I mentioned three, 3 million downloads so far, and there's a lot of apps that people have already written for Windows. Um, and a few weeks ago, we announced uh, the App Store and provided a little bit of details on that. So let me take you into the App Store real quick. And you can see the App Store works much like the Start menu. It's fast and fluid. I can scroll around to the various apps that are available in the App Store today. Um, and uh, I'll drill into one particular app here, Cut the Rope. This is an example of an application that the developer had originally developed in using HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript for other platforms. And using our developer tools, they could rapidly convert this application into a Windows 8 application that takes advantage of our platform, our hardware acceleration, and made this app available on the App Store. Um, it's up to the developer how they want to offer this app, what they want to charge for it, and they can optionally uh, provide a free trial of the app. So you can download it, run it for a while, and if you decide to buy it, you can buy it after having a full opportunity to to use the app. As you can see, I already have this app installed in my system. So being that the uh, App Store is an app in itself, uh, it supports all of the new Metro-style uh, charms. Charms are a series of um, extensibility mechanisms that we provide in Windows. Being that applications now take the full screen, you'll notice that every pixel is being used by the App Store. There's no Chrome around it. There's no close button. There's none of the things that usually occupy some of the space. So to get those uh, kind of functions back, I just swipe in on a touch enabled system, and I'll show you how to do this on the keyboard and the mouse in just a minute. And from here I have access to a number of different standard based um, uh, experiences in, in Metro. I can search across various applications or across the system. I can share information, uh, photos, media, um, to other applications and services in the cloud. Start obviously brings me back to the start bar. I can interface with devices and control settings. So from here, I'm actually going to go back to the start menu. And I'm going to launch the Cut the Rope, Cut the Rope app. So I'll just click on it to launch it here. And you can see it launches very fast. Uh, again, fully immersive experience. All the pixels are being used by the system. Uh, and again, this is an HTML5 app that was ported to Windows 8 um, with very little effort on their part. 
Um, for those of you out there that are developers, our platform, uh, our new Metro style uh, platform supports a variety of different languages, obviously HTML5, JavaScript, CSS. Also, if you're a C-sharp developer, C++, uh, plenty of uh, opportunity there to use the SDK to develop apps in those various languages as well. So, uh, I won't spend too much time on this particular application, go back to the start menu here. Uh, again, there's all my apps. I'm going to launch one more app just to give you an example of another app and how it might be implemented. So here's an eBay app and quickly I can have access to the things I'm buying and selling and things I'm interested in. Fast and fluid, very little effort in uh, wiring up this application to the data available on the PC and in the cloud. So this is where we were in September. Um, people will obviously are very excited about what we've done there. Lots of applications being developed. But I want to show you some of the things we've done since then. Um, but this time I'm going to move to a, a laptop you can buy today. So this is a, a Samsung Ultrabook, and it's running a, a more recent build of Windows. And, uh, and right off the bat, you'll notice some, some enhancements we've made to the system. Right on the lock screen, I've got some icons that are giving me information about my system and about me. So it's telling me I have five emails waiting for me, uh, two social feed posts, uh, um, some appointments. So right from the desktop, I'm getting information about my system. So I'm going to hit enter to invoke the login screen. I'll type in my password. And that brings me immediately to the start menu. And you see how fast that came up. Very quick. Um, systems boot very fast. They move very quickly between menus. Um, once I'm inside of uh, the start bar, you see that we've got our start menu, a number of apps here that are live with information, providing me details about stock and weather and things I'm interested in. Um, <laughs> I want to show you, uh, you know, the more apps I add, uh, the more information that's available to me, the more rich my experience becomes. But you don't want it to get to the point where you've got so many apps that the system kind of becomes hard to use. Where do I find that app that I was looking for? How do I interact with it? So along with all the great uh, investments we've made in making apps have a uh, rich experience in Windows, we've also made it very easy for you to move around and find the apps that you're interested in. So from a touch uh, system, I can pinch and do kind of things like that to zoom. But on a keyboard and mouse system, I can hold the control key down and uh, zoom back, and zoom in. Obviously, I can use the, the standard things we're used to, the scroll bars to move around. And also, if I'm scrolled all the way to the side and I simply just want to move a little bit over, I just bump the edge of the screen. And by just bumping the edge of the screen with my mouse, it shifts things over. Now, if there's something particular I'm looking for, I can scroll out, get a broad view of what I'm looking for, and I can simply just click on it and go right to that spot. So as you start adding more apps, we make it very easy for you to find them and to move around. And also, being that we're Windows and we allow you to customize things, you can easily move these around. So I can grab this group, drag it to wherever I want, put it in wherever I want. Um, I can give these things names. I can just right click and give it a friendly name, whatever I want to call it. Or I can just grab a single app. Let me grab something here, this eBay app, for instance. And you can see as I drag it around, it automatically adjusts the other apps. You can see where there's a, a separation of groups of apps that I've created. So I can create my own new groups. I can just drag it to wherever I want, put it out here in a new group, and, and customize it just that easy. So I can put the, put the apps that have the information that I'm most interested in right at the front screen here. I move them around as I wish and group them as I wish. So if you play with other operating systems that have similar models, you, you felt the pain of those and realized just uh, how much easier this is to manage things. Um, being that, that this is Windows 8 and it's an advancement of where we're at with Windows 7, um, I want to show you some of the desktop kind of capabilities that we offer today. So um, I'm going to uh, just start typing in an, uh, an application I'm looking for. So I'm going to just start typing Excel. And as I get further along, it narrows down the applications and finds Excel. This is an example of the standard uh, search experience that we have in Metro. So not only does the operating system and the start menu you search, any application inside of Windows can you search. And I'll give you uh, some more demos of, of how that's done in just a minute. But for now, 